I happened to be working the night shift that Saturday night. It was the night that we had the big ice storm. Um, and uh, this mom came to the ER uh, with Park County Ambulance um, in labor. She felt like she was having her contractions two or three minutes apart. Um, so Park County always brings, when the contractions are that close together, the ambulances bring the mom to the nearest hospital. And I remember the medics calling and saying that she was having the urge to push and that concerned me because I thought, oh my gosh, and that um, we knew that she was a little early and that she had had a C-section beforehand, so we knew if, you know, if she delivered vaginally that it would be a V-back. Um, and basically we knew that she had not had an opportunity to have prenatal care. We didn't have enough time to go to Terre Haute, so that's why they took me to Clinton. But we finally got out of there and went to Clinton and they barely had enough time to get her out. I had, um, they couldn't give me nothing for it, like no drugs, no nothing. And um, I barely got in a gown on the bed and here she comes. So we got her into the, to the room here. Uh, got an IV started and um, she was in notable pain. Um, this particular lady had, had no prenatal care and um, did have one baby at home. Uh, so this was her second pregnancy. Had had a lot of complications with her first pregnancy with hypertension, um, preeclampsia, so these were concerns of hers. They was trying to wait for maybe a little bit, but then he, and she came. Um, these surprises can happen to them at any moment. Um, we have a lot of rural area to cover, um, and so those women can't always make it to Union Hospital, Terre Haute, where there's a newborn ICU. Um, also, there's sometimes weather impedes us getting to a facility very quickly. Um, sometimes snow or ice plays into it where the ambulance takes a little longer to get to Union to pick up the team and then to get to the outlying hospital. And some of the hospitals we pick up are in Linton, um, which is a 45, 60 minute drive from Union. So for the nurses at the facilities to know how to stabilize a newborn is vitally important for that baby's life and that family. So we prepared for delivery, got out our delivery pack. We also then got out the baby warmer. And um, one policy we have here at Clinton is once we deliver, decide we are delivering in, here at Clinton ER, it's considered a high risk um, delivery just because of the situation. So we always immediately call the ICU, the NICU team from Terre Haute even hopefully before the baby's born then they can get here to help us with the baby. You know they talked about the stable and um, in the class and just to be aware of um, it was good to know that when a child comes out that they may not necessarily be responsive right away that it's okay if they're a little sleepy or blue and that you have measures you can take to help you know expand their lungs and such. Um, you know I was worried what if because when, when the baby came out, there was stool that I could see coming from her bottom because she was a breech presentation. So then I was like, okay, well, if it's a meconium birth, I knew what to do about that because of the class. This baby was a 34-week baby, so about six weeks early, and she was discharged from Union Hospital within 10 days, so that's a corrected age of 35 and a half weeks. So she did beautifully large in part to the, her first few moments of life that were provided at Union Hospital Clinton. They cleaned her up and the next thing I knew we was all in the ambulance going to Terre Haute. I stayed here. I stayed with the baby until the NICU team arrived and then we gave report to the NICU nurse and then they did their assessment and then packaged you know, the baby in the incubator for transport. I was just thankful that, and I felt like I could give them a fairly um, decent report in terms of what they needed. I, you know, we had the birth weight, we had the time of arrival, um, what had kind of gone on beforehand. So I felt like we could paint a picture without giving them too many details that they didn't need. Um, they did an excellent job. They were prepared. They had the baby on the warmer and were keeping um, her warm and stable. Um, she was breathing well, so they didn't um, need to have any extra respiratory support, um, but they kept her stable until we got there. I believe that it's vitally important for these babies and these families. Um, the first five to 30 minutes of um, after delivery can be vital to the outcome of the child's life. Um, if they're given good care and they're kept stable and they're kept warm, um, they have the best possible chances for the best recovery. The class, it just, it gave me a lot of 
this sounds cheesy, cheesy, but knowledge is power, and it gave me a lot of good information um, so I didn't feel completely blind when that baby came out.